do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will discuss about ohms law that you have studied in your school level but still we will study that let us discuss about ohms law in ohms law we have to only write the statement understand the conditions when that law is valid and draw the graph this is the most fundamental law of electricity and this law is useful to find uh, various uh, <coughs> for example to find the potential difference or the current flowing in the circuit I will uh, use this in uh, higher concepts of uh, while solving the JEE numericals. For the time being, Ohm's law is that if you have a conductor and having certain dimensions, and that conductor is connected to a battery which provides a potential difference, obviously constant potential difference. Then, because of the application of the potential difference, the electric field is set up inside the conductor, and because of that, the current starts flowing. And Ohm's law states that the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor is varying directly with the current flowing through the conductor. That means V is proportional to I under the condition that. The temperature of the conductor should remain constant, and the dimensions of the conductor should remain the same. So we'll uh, write the statement. So it says that the V, the potential difference is proportional to I or V is some constant into I. This constant we say R. So this implies V equals to I into R, where R is called the resistance. R is called the resistance, V is the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor, I is the current flowing. If I draw the diagram. Let us have a conductor of this dimension, and I apply a potential difference in the form of battery of V volt. If a battery of V volt is provided, this is a conductor of uh, length AB. AB is a conductor, and uh, this is uh, suppose that this is 0 volt this is also will be 0 volt this is v so this will be v potential and this is also at potential v and now we know that uh, because this is a connecting wire so it will have the same potential so i consider that the internal resistance of this uh, the resistance of this connecting wire is zero and therefore the, there is no drop so we is the potential of this point. So at this point I say that at A the potential is VA, at B point the potential is VB. So this point, this point the potentials are VA and BB respectively. This conductor has length L and area of cross section suppose A. And this is made up of certain material 
suppose uh, its specific resistance is rho then uh, the law states that the potential difference across the ends of the conductor the potential difference across the ends what is the potential difference across the ends the potential difference is va minus vv because the this is a higher potential the current will start flowing from this direction to this direction from a to b in clockwise sense so this is at high potential and this is at lower potential so the difference va minus vv is directly proportional to the current flowing through this whatever current is flowing suppose that is i so this uh, conductor is basically having some resistance every conductor is resistance suppose the resistance is r so is this law says that this is proportional to i and VA minus VV, if I put the value, VA is V, VV is 0 because it is at 0 potential, it is proportional to I, so is V proportional to I or V equals to the quotient R into I, so this is Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. The condition that this has to be remain the same, the temperature should be constant because in conductor, if you increase the temperature, because if you increase the temperature, then uh, its resistance also increases. So, if resistance increases, then this is not a proportionality. This has to be constant. Then, if temperature increases, R is increasing or changing. If you cool it, the temperature resistance will also decrease. So, it, should, it is not a constant. So, under this con condition, the temperature is kept constant. The temperature of this conductor uh, remaining the same and the dimensions because uh, R is uh, having a uh, formula rho L upon A. So, R is constant only when the length of the conductor, the area of cross section and the specific resistance will remain the same. So, this is called the dimensions L and A and this is the material. The material and the dimensions and the temperature, all these three if remaining the same constant then only v is proportional to i or v is equal to ir this is what is known as ohm's law if you plot the graph of that then uh, you have uh, will consider potential difference across the x axis and uh, current in y axis then because uh, v is proportional to i it is like uh, y is proportional to x so it is a straight line passing through origin and the slope of this line is uh, 45 slope is 45 the angle is 45 degree and the slope is 1 angle is 45 and slope is 1 because uh, y equals to mx form and this is uh, <coughs> depending on uh, if uh, r is 1 if this is 1 then uh, V equals to I. If resistance is 1, then we say this R is the basically the slope of this equation. And uh, so V by I. So if I, if I find the slope of this, this is I by V, delta I by delta V. Then this is the reciprocal of the uh, resistance. And therefore, uh, the slope uh, reciprocal of slope reciprocal of slope so for this case the slope is uh, delta by delta v but then if i write this as a slope then slope is reciprocal of resistance if i take v over here i over here then this is v by i delta v over delta i then this is your uh, slope and that slope is resistance here the reciprocal of slope reciprocal of slope relations so as you change the x axis and y axis uh, v and i you will get different results so basically this is a straight line passing through origin okay thank you